what is happening, kids? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at what's in that box right there. Stick around. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. Are you as excited as I am? Not possible. Okay, maybe it's a little possible. But we got something awesome sent to us. Should we go take, let's take a look. Yeah, can you see? It's a pressure washer. Um, it came from Foting, F-O-T-I-N-G, Tools. Uh, there's going to be a link to the product down in the thingy. Down there. So, it has a, you can see right here, a three-year warranty. It's blue. Blue. 4,500 PSI. 3.2 gallons per minute. Electric. Plug it in. First things first. Ooh. Let me start. Some stuff. I am going to go over the particulars with the thingy here. Oh, look at that. We got nozzles. Looks like four of them. <clears throat> A nice hose reel. Yep, we're, you know. All right, and then we got, we got a heck of a long cord. You know what that is. What did my, yep, okay. Oh, cool. It's got safety, safety lock on the bottom. You can't hurt yourself or others. Safety's no accident, people. What else we got in here? Holder. Uh huh. We got a box to the neck, too, apparently. Yes. Come on. Okay. Oh, it's kind of a. Got some screws. Came with the thing, the instructions. Okay. Gives you some pictures on how to put stuff together. Yep. Warnings, work area, caution stuff, specifications. Yep. This is the KLC T3. High pressure washer, seven accessories. Weighing 21 pounds. Talks to you on how to put things together. Now, I think you know we're going to wash some stuff. But let's get this put together. All right. I think we know. I came on here to talk about cleaning. So we're going to talk about the pressure washer. Make sense? There's plastic with tape on it or something. No. Okay. It's, uh, okay. You guys, you can't see. Okay, that's fine. We'll just move it back. Three, two. <laughs> I love doing that. All right. We got that guy. And then we got. 
It's got a padded handle. Boop, boop, boop. This is pretty darn cool, kids. Mm hmm. All right. So, this guy was right up here. You know how I know? I looked at the instructions. Yeah, like that, kind of, sort of. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I never learned how to read very well. I lost the screws. No, I didn't. All right, one, the one thing I would suggest is if you have a magnetic tip screwdriver, who's that? You know, I mean, just put the screws in. Now, you don't need to go nuts. Just get them nice and tight. It's, it's plastic, you don't want to strip anything out. You know? Now this is, this is a... Uh, 4200, or 4500 PSI. That's not, that's pretty good for pressure washer like this one. All right, so I'm gonna finish putting those screws in and bring it back in a minute. Okay, so two there and then there's three screws on this one all nice pictures and the instructions whoops just gotta get mine up get the holes lined up and all that cool stuff Just like that. So far, I need with a Phillips screwdriver. This one fell off of the screwdriver, so I'm just gonna There's a little notch for that one to go on. Didn't want to behave there for a second there. All right, so got that. This guy goes right here. Pretty slick. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's all we got. That's all there is to it, man. I'm just gonna push that down on there, like that. Oh, just slides on. You got three screws here, and then two up there. All came in the in the package. All right, let's see. What else? Is there anything else that we got? Uh, just want to make sure. I don't want to hurt you, buddy. Okay. We got this guy. Oops. And it goes... Right down the bottom. Very easy setup. That was actually really, that was very, very nice. Very clear, didn't look, not a lot of words. Just like, hey. Find your KLC T3 and let it rip. So, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this thing set up outside. We'll follow along with the uh, setup instructions uh, when we do that. So uh, stick.
Stick around, we got some stuff to wash. Guaranteed. We'll go through all the accessories too at that time. Stick around, kids. All right, kids, we are going to uh, finish testing out that uh, pressure washer right about now. You just gotta get creepy outside. So we're gonna just grab them and uh, come outside. Hmm. And maybe let's spray Bonnie. You might know, say, what about Clyde? What about Clyde? He's dirty. He's gonna stay dirty. But I'm gonna get this one going right here. Oh, let me get set up. See you in a minute. Okay. Some knots in the hose. I'm not gonna blame anybody, Peyton. But hose goes in there, right there. See it? Yep. Mm -hmm. And the hose goes here. And the gun's gonna go there. It does have a pretty long extension cord. It's actually going from there all the way in up to the ceiling outlet in there. See? Alright, so let's get this party going. It's got a very long hose, too. And it just goes right here. I'm gonna pull that back. Pop that in. Like that. Turn it on. Then, easy as pie, there's one switch. On it. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Shuts off, pretty cool. The nice thing, it doesn't just sit and run. Once it's done, it's done. Why don't you put the gun down, you know? The wand, not the gun. But you can see all that stuff I got off. Yep. Definitely smells like dirty. And we got all that too. Look at that. All that stuff came loose. Now, we got one more thing to try. You could be saying, you're gonna pressure wash that open car? I'm really gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right now. So you can see, Bonnie's pretty dirty, pretty dusty, pretty dirty, pretty everything, right? We're gonna stay away from the engine as much as we can. Bonnie's dirty. Very dirty. So, let's see what we can do. So get that same orange tip on. I'm not using any soap right now, but I'm going to at some point do that.
plumbing here. All right, you got it hosed off. Any water in here? Yep, a little bit. By that I mean some. Now we just gotta wait for it to dry. Let's see how she did. Oh, but what I can see, there's plenty of dirt there. Plenty of dirt there, if you can see it. Let me get out of the way, see all that? There's even some oil. I wonder where that came from. Probably the multiple leaks. All right, stick around. We'll check them out as soon as they're dry. Well, we'll wait for our friends to dry. Let's show you how we take it, we get it ready for storage again. All right, so basically just kind of reverse what we did. Undo that, undo that. See that cord is really long. And then we undo that, but it's subjective. So let's see how everything rolls up and puts away. <laughs> yep. And you just start rolling it up. And then as you get a little closer, you know, it's gonna start to do its thing here because it's really rigid hose. Oh look at that. That roll wraps up pretty nice. Then we got this long guy right here, right? And we can wrap her up like this. Now the foreman told me she's looking forward to doing this or using this when it comes time to clean out uh, the pool in the springtime. So that's pretty neat. One little gripe, not that big of a deal. I mean, it is a little bit, but it'd be nice if the cord uh, had a little bit more space, you know? So, cord, the whole cord doesn't fit there, but that, I mean, it's all on. Then we got these guys, goes in the thing, whoop, right there, and then goes in here. That's it. Pretty cool. All right, so little girl's dry. Now you can see paint's definitely worn out on her. We'll have to do something about that eventually, right? Not today. Cleaned up everything. I mean, we just just pressured water. That's all it was, right? Okay. Get all that gunk out of there. Don't look at the rust right there. Don't look at that. But got all the gunk off of it from sanding on it stuff. That stuff too. Yep. It's pretty good. A little bit of, looks like we'll be doing a little bit of vacuuming, but that's not a big deal. All right, let's get these two uh, inside and uh, we'll wrap this up. kids so what did we discover that little pressure washer rips it it really did a good job I mean it's it got all the stuff off of creepy and it got all the dust off of Bonnie no it's not the pressure washers fault since there's water everywhere that's mine because uh you know it's probably it's roaster so what did we learn we learned that the Foting f-o-t-i-n-g tools Pressure washer, the four, it's 4,500 PSI, and it's, it's strong. 21 pounds, lightweight, man. That was the shipping weight, include the box and stuff. Now, this was the KLC T3. There'll be a link down there. It'll be to the 
Amazon. But literally hook up the water, hook up the hose, put everything together, whoosh, turn it on. They're going. So pressure washer. Honest Paint and Speed Shop. Creepy and Bonnie approved. Go get one. Uh, $109.99 on, uh, on the Amazon there. Check for the link. Don't forget to do the and the ding and all that good stuff. And check out, you know, down the thing. So, hope you enjoyed this little review of pressure washer. We've got a lot more coming with it, uh, I'm sure, as we get into that. Um, so, anybody, anybody get anything else? No? Check them out, down the thing. Keep on wrenching. <laughs>